Hello, I'm Jenny and this is a little how-to video to how to make a David Parr jumping jack doll or even a Mary Parr jumping jack doll. So this is how they work and they're a whole heap of fun. So I'll just go over the what you'll need very briefly. So if you go on the David Parr website, you can download this image, which is in black and white, so you can colour it in yourself. Uh, if you don't want to colour it in, there is this lovely retro version as well. And there'll also be just a couple of sets of instructions. So this one really is just a, a belt and braces, if you will, just to help you sort of give you a few little extra tips. So I will pause the camera every now and again, because otherwise this would be a really long video. So I'm just going to now put the camera down just to show you some more what you'll need. So once you've downloaded your template, I've put mine on a cereal box because it's the most perfect card for something like this. If you don't have a cotton reel, don't worry. Um, this is just really helpful when you're putting holes through the, the joints and things. If you don't have a cotton reel, just put that behind something soft. Now, this is a braddle, so it's really good because it's really hard and really pointy. If you haven't got one of those, you could always start a hole off maybe with a push pin. But again, just make sure whatever you're putting that hole through is on something soft so that you don't dent any surfaces that you've got. You will definitely need scissors to cut David out or a craft knife is fine. You will need some paper fasteners for the joints, which you can get in the local hobby shop. Uh, if you don't have these, you could fashion um, a paper clip maybe into making it. But if you can get these, they're best. Now, the original Victorian Jumping Jack dolls, they used string for pretty much everything. So they used string to go through the joints and they used string instead of the little um, coffee stirrers. And again, if you don't have coffee stirrers, don't worry, because I'm not going to use them on this video. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm going to do what we've done on the instructions, and I'm going to use this piece of paper here and then double it up so that it's nice and strong. In order to put my template on the card, I use um, a spray glue. It's really good because it makes it really nice and even. So just be sort of mindful of whatever glue you use you don't really want this to ripple so I'm now going to pause this video and then I'll show you it when David is cut out a little bit more so you can see now I've cut out all my pieces including that little strip that I said to fold in half so that's really sturdy now in fact if you've got double-sided tape that's also good for that so we'll put that aside for now I've just got a little tip for when you're cutting out around a curved surface because this really helps if you just roughly cut as close as you dare to the area like that it really helps later on because you're not then battling against a lot more card so it makes it a heck of a lot easier to get a nice even curve around there and then sometimes as you're cutting, you might just have to go in at a different angle just to cut things off. So you can go in there and that will cut that off. Uh, I've also put my little holes in all the limbs there, or these are the larger holes. So there's larger holes like that one. And then there are smaller holes just like that one because the smaller one is where your string is going to go through so I'll just give you a little tip how to pierce those holes so let's get David's arm again so this is where the little cotton reel comes in handy so I get my braddle I just put that over the cotton reel like that just go to the center of your hole and then when you do that see it goes through nice and clean if you just wiggle that about a bit as well, because the bigger you can make these holes, the better they will swing when you actually put them on the paper fastener. So, yep, just make those as big as you can, even maybe slightly bigger than that. So I'm just going to pierce the smaller hole now where the string will go through. 
and again try and make that as big as you dare but just watch this edge because you'll be tying a knot against that edge so I'll just put that one in there we go I'm just gonna give that a little wiggle round as well so it's a little bit bigger right I'll now pause the camera and I'm going to show you now the back of the doll because this is how we will start assembling him now so we're going to get our string next and we're just going to tie him through these two small holes at the top of the arms and the two small holes at the bottom of the legs so I'll just pause so I'll just show you this now so I've attached David's knees first I'll get them around the right way <laughs> so I've just put the pins through his knees there so they were those big holes and now I'll turn David over just so you can see where they're going to go so I've already done his arms just so that we can keep this video a little bit shorter so we'll now put his legs on and put that piece of string through so I'll show you how to do that right so I just gently lay them over the big holes like that get your little paper fastener could be a little bit fiddly but so we'll put the paper fastener in now another little tip that I found quite good just to give yourself a bit more wiggle room obviously only do this if you feel confident doing it children get the help of a parent if you want to do this but you don't have to so I just nip with the scissors and then I hold that like that, press it down. And so that really does give you quite a lot of wiggle room there, which is what you want. So let's do that with the next one. So we've got our paper fastener, put that through there. You'll see that I've also just put the string through one of David's legs there. because I'll give you another little tip now. So as you're going to tie your string there, just make sure that the limbs are all at rest. OK, so you sort of want this string in roughly a straight line, but not too tight, because when we attach the little stick in there, it's that that allows it to give a bit more traveling room. So let's now put a knot in this one give yourself more string than you need when you do these because it's otherwise it's really difficult and I found as well just putting my little point there really helps to get the knot in place as you pull the string but again don't worry if you don't get that right so there we go that's it just be careful when you tighten that knot because you don't want to pull it so tight that you make a hole in your card there so that's all the limbs on we'll just trim that string like that another little tip that i did it's a bit like a shoelace to help you get that through the hole i just put a piece of sellotape on the frayed edge there so then that acts like a shoelace so it's easier to get through those holes so that's what yours should look like now now I have a hot glue gun. If you don't have one, don't worry too much. You can use um, some other glue or you could even use a little piece of sellotape, but hot glue gun is brilliant. So we're just gonna put that through there like that. And then where I'm gonna glue, just give him a bit more room, is just there and there and again make sure the limbs are at rest otherwise he won't jump so I'll just get my hot glue gun so be very careful here I'm just going to put a piece underneath like that and then very carefully just put that in there like that you want to be careful not to get glue on here because otherwise that will pull at the back of the doll so we'll just put that on there as well in fact what I've done on my other one is I just added also another little blob of glue just on there just on the top just to keep that nice like that so that should be really strong now so 
we'll just let that glue dry and then this is what you should be left with so your back should look just like that so you can see where the glue parts are there so these were the coffee sticks that I used on this one and I glued two of those together but again the card is just as good so this is still drying okay but he should work oh here's another little bit just give yourself another piece of string like that let's cut that off just so that you can put a loop on David's head because then that helps when you're pulling it that you're not having to then touch the doll itself so we'll put that on there like that a nice little knot what I'll do is just for speed so that I'm not waiting for glue to dry I will just sellotape that on David's head for now so I'll just put that on there and I'll just put a little piece of sellotape on just to keep it in place for now like so there we go okay so I think the glue is dry now so I'll just put the camera back up and we'll see if he works let's see oops I've got hold of the string so there we go I'm just holding his loop there and one two three jump yay <laughs> He works, he works. See how easily and fun that is to make. So I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, you can always download Mary as well. So she's also available. But have fun overall. It'd be really nice to see some of your jumping jacks to see what you've done. Okay, bye.